How's it going, guys? It's Poncho here. We're like two to three weeks into quarantine, and I just want to go outside, get some of that, you know, <coughs> fresh air instead of that <coughs> boredom and depression. Anyways, what's up, guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Woke up this morning just like every other morning. Well, not even morning. It was an afternoon. I know you guys heard that voice crack. Please don't flame me. My sleep schedule has been so screwed up because of corona. I'll be going to bed at like 7 a.m. That's usually when I wake up. And you might be wondering, like, Poncho, why are you up so late? What are you doing? What could possibly be worth your time staying up that late? Well, I mean, if you really want to know, I'm trying to find video ideas for y'all. I know, I know. I'm so considerate. Just for y'all. It's not like I'm uploading daily and I'm sort of running out of content or anything. <laughs> Anyways, your boy was up at 4 a.m. last night, like usual. I saw this video on my recommended and the title really took me by surprise. Let's take a look. It reads, parents create fake profile to catch out their teenage daughter. <laughs> Gotta have that daily reminder that some parents still don't trust their kids at all. But uh, yeah, after I saw this, I decided to jot it down in my notepad, you know, as I do for every video. I'm so organized. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty much now boring you by this point. So let's take a look at this video. Poop. I took a couple days and we made a profile that I think Mariah is going to connect with. Are you guys ready to meet this entirely fake person that we've created out of nothing? Why is this dude over here talking about some, are you sure you can handle this shit? Are you sure you're ready? Like, um, <laughs> dude, it's not some random person. You kind of made the profile. Now show me the damn profile. All right. Lisa, Mark, I want you guys to meet Mason Williams. It's Mariah's age. <laughs> damn, they really got Mason on this? Hey, congrats, bro, getting that TLC collab. I know YouTube wasn't really working out for you. You kept on complaining about getting copyright striked and all that stuff. I'm really proud of you, bro. You've definitely come a long way. He dresses very kind of trendy very with it very with it my man has no drip he's got the striped tee on with the android phone with the roger Heffley haircut come on dude not that combo <laughs> is he wearing a scarf all right let's go to his bio hobbies photography art hiking all right those aren't some bad hobbies to have you know i can appreciate all three of those info a picture is worth a thousand words especially when it's a picture of a pretty smile all right i need to redo that in the right tone info a picture is worth a thousand words especially when it's a smile of a pretty Fuck. Info. A picture is worth a thousand words, especially when it's a picture of a pretty smile. My boy went ham on us with that. As long as you have that bio, you could pick up any girl. You know, go get him, Mason. Yeah, fresh cut <laughs> swag. So he's, yeah. he's, you know, he's a cool kid. He's into nature, just like Mariah is. Okay, now you're just overstepping. I wouldn't go as far as to call him a cool kid, but he seems all right. He looks like a kid that would stop me in the middle of the hallway, asking if he wants to play Yu-Gi-Oh with me. And boy, am I down for that. He also is a photographer, and this is all part of the ploy, too, so that when we reach out to her, we can be like, hey, do you want to yeah. actually have your picture taken? <laughs> the dad's just like, yes, hit <laughs> Yes, hit her up. I kind of hate how weird he's going about this. I don't know if he realizes that after all this is done, his daughter is going to have no trust in him. She's going to hesitate to message any dude. So uh, good job, pops. Raising him right. Because I do photography, and then she can go through and see this and be like, oh my gosh, I definitely want my photo taken. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you guys navigate this. What do you guys think we should say to Mariah? Uh, what's up or something like that? That's good. What's up? Yeah, what's something up? Like mm, something, something like a guy would say. Mmm, genius! Something like a guy would say. So smart and tech savvy you are. It's not like that's the most commonly used, uh, greeting word. They're acting like they found the cure for the coronavirus or some shit. Dad's over here like, how about hey, sexy? Um, Jerry, that's a little bit too straightforward. <laughs> I think we're just gonna go with hey. No. Type it in. Go for it. Yeah. Type Okay, click send. Oh, what's up? My boy Mason shooting his shot. boy. <laughs> Does he really have sunglasses in his profile picture? Photography my ass. This dude's a surfer boy. No doubt about it. They honestly could have chose so many other pictures than this. Because this dude literally looks like he's waiting to get curved. I'm not trying to do you dirty or anything, but like... The scarf and the sunglasses? <laughs> Boom. Now we have made contact and we'll know if she'll be willing to- Oh, they're going about this in such a weird way. We have finally made contact with the subject. Like, dude, this is your daughter. It's not like you're trying to just catch a pedo on the internet. You're just trying to fulfill the fantasy of having a sexual conversation with your daughter. Like, you don't need to go in this deep just to know if you can trust your daughter or not. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Talk to us privately. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. She's already responded. You already know this man's willy just got hard. Oh, she already responded? Oh, goodness. Okay, calm down, Jerry. We know that you've been waiting for this moment your whole life, but I think you need to tone it down a little bit. Oh my god. She already responded. What do you guys want to say next? What are your plans for today? Go for it. That's a good one because you're like making it about today and about the other person. I don't think they really have a general understanding of how teenage conversations work, especially at this day and age. It's kind of just like, hey, what you doing? Not much, how about you? Not much, just bored. 
Down to fuck? Plus, I wouldn't even respond with what my plans are to somebody I don't even know. I guess that's the whole point of this series or whatever. <laughs> Those stupid kids being so damn gullible on the internet. Meanwhile, us boomers can barely stop the YouTube autoplayer. She said parents kicked me out of the house for some alone time. Haha, ha, so I'm stuck babysitting my brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. Now he knows that she's got a brother and sister. And that she's away from her parents. He not only knows that she's alone, but that my other two children are alone too, including my seven-year-old daughter. Okay, I get where he's coming from, but it's not like she just straight up gave out her address or anything. She's honestly just big chilling with her siblings. It's not like she's giving out any confidential information. What's Mason doing today? I was thinking about hitting up the beach. Great. Mark, you want to say hitting up the beach? Okay, here we go. We could find a photo of a beach and send it to her to kind of drive the point home. So this is a trick that actual predators use to look real. What I'm going to do now is quickly edit this photo in the tablet. <laughs> They're using a meme? I'm sorry, but you have to be a complete dumbass to believe this is a real photo. I doubt the girl knows about this, but I doubt they know about it either. Reverse image search exists. Also, why are they using like a 2012 meme? Keeping it real, this segment does seem like it was filmed in 2012. First he says fresh cut swags, and then he goes on to put a 2012 meme. <laughs> like, get with the times, dude, come on. So I'm gonna take this down, we're gonna get rid of this other account, and I'm gonna click done. <laughs> This hurts to watch. At least get the picture aspect ratio right, dude. The picture is a square. Ah! If somebody sent me that, I would have known it was from Instagram. Looks like a damn album cover. Throw that damn parental advisory logo on there. So now it's just a photo. There's no way to prove that I didn't take that photo. So it really looks real. That's scary. Oh, mom, you have nothing to worry about. This doesn't look believable at all. Man really looked up beach meme on Google images, took the first image and cropped it. I think your daughter's okay. It's incredible how many tools are there for these predators to create the perfect world to lure their victims in. Let's see if she responds to that one. Oh. oh. Wow. wow. Oh, God. Thanks. And a happy face. That's not just a happy face, that's happy face with hearts in the eyes. That's not good. Yo, chill out! She is reacting to that beach! It's not like she's giving him the hard eyes because he's attractive or anything. Look how nice that view looks! I'm literally stuck in Kansas, I would kill to go there. Oh, Poncho, living in Kansas isn't that bad. It's a very nice state. <laughs> All right, I want to see you come to Kansas and see how entertained you are when you come here. There is literally nothing to do. Probably the most fun thing I've done all week is mow my lawn. Ah, <laughs> yeah! <I'm not. laughs> Elliot's uh, planning on continuing the conversation, and we will see how aggressive she is. Oh yeah, because I'm sure your 14-year-old daughter is such a feisty little diva cat that loves to flirt. She's been alone for so long that she's just craving some affection. <laughs> Newsflash, she's a teenage girl. I doubt she's gonna be throwing herself at him instantly. He is really acting weird about this. I just realized that. We'll, we'll see how uh, aggressive, aggressive she gets. Honestly, what a weirdo. So today is the day. We have successfully established a messaging relationship with Mariah. Uh, now the only thing left to do is to invite her to this park. We're gonna say that Mason is doing a photo shoot and he wants her to come model. <laughs> hey, I'm doing a shoot at the park in your hood at four. You should come be my model. Mason! <laughs> Why is my guy using an iPad? Oh, wait, wait, is that a Kindle? He is vibing. He's probably reading at the park. Man, forget the photo shoot. I'm just trying to read the Hunger Games with you, babe. You can be my Katniss Everdeen. Okay. Now we wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, now we wait. <laughs> my guy sounds like a Minecraft villager. <laughs> Mariah said, awesome. What should I wear? Uh... I'm gonna say she should wear something summery and that I look forward to meeting her. <coughs> <coughs> uh, my throat's feeling a little goofy. Off topic, but what emoji is that? What messaging platform are they using? Are they using the Kindle Fire messaging app? Dad catfishes his own daughter using the Kindle Fire messaging app. No way, dude. And now we, oh, actually she, she just saw us, that was fast. Oh, and she said, cool, can't wait for the shoot. See you soon. Uh, I think that's about as confirmation as you can get. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip to the part where they meet up. Because literally for the next minute, he just kind of explains how big his setup is. And how much equipment he has. Like, nobody cares. Alright, let's go, let's go. Mariah? Hi, how's it going? How are you? Hey, I'm Elliot, by the way, sorry. I, uh, I'm a friend of Mason's. 
So Mason was here earlier, but I thought you were smarter than this. He basically I don't want to hear from you, Mr. Big Chumba Wumbo Jeremy. Your dad ass the one that's catfishing your own daughter. Like you're not in the wrong here, too. <laughs> Come on, dude. Also, how big is that van that they're in? Looks like it's the size of my damn room. He said the lighting is way too bright out here for his photography. So he's uh, he just went down the street a second ago to try to find like a better location. <sighs> Oh my god. But he wanted me to hang out here because he didn't want to waste any time. Do you want to go see him right now? Oh, please don't go. Please don't go. Sure. Okay, great. No, Holy don't go for it. Oh my god. But it's, right it's kind of funny because their reactions make it seem like they don't care. Please don't go. Please don't go. Oh uh, no. Don't kidnap my daughter. Uh. Right in this area over here. He was like, you know, just hang out, wait for her, because I want to make sure, you know, it works out. I mean, she's a smart girl. Well, obviously not, dude. She's quite literally walking to a white van and being led by somebody she's never met before. Do I smell something? And it's actually really nice and new, and we should be able to get there in, like, I think it's probably, like, a three-minute drive, if that works for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how dramatic they made this clip. Like, no, it's not two soldiers engaging in battle. It's two middle-aged parents oh. walking towards their kid. Got that tone. Da -da -da -da. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Shh. What are you doing? You realize you just you just walked into like a death what are you trap. Doing? What are you thinking? How could you do something this dumb? No. Hate to break it to you, TLC, but that is probably the worst acting I have ever seen since Kobe Person. Your budget for this video was probably pretty high, I would think. You could have hired a teen actor. Come on, I know you guys can do better than that. You promised me you would never do this again. I just thought that because it was at a public park, it wouldn't matter. You were gonna walk in the van. What do you mean? Are you are you good, Pops? He's literally pacing in circles right now. <laughs> this is his disappointed look. He just kind of spins around. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of the video. Grade A parenting, if you ask me. Wouldn't ask for better. Honestly, I kind of hate these pranks or social experiments or whatever they call it. They're pretty pointless, honestly. You can teach this lesson in many other ways. You don't really need to catfish your own daughter. But uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And if you want to see more of my content in the future, make sure to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Please sub now. See, you would think I don't need a new mic, but uh, it does that. <laughs> Whatever. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Okay, thanks for watching. Penis, penis. Now subscribe or die. I need your ad revenue to survive. No, seriously, please. I need money. I'm about to go home. Like on this video. Hey, it's your boy Keith. Subscribe to Poncho, yes. or else you're gonna yes. get the smoke. Just saying.